Hi, Jenny here. Today is trick-or-treating in our neighborhood from 1 to 4, and I was hoping to run some errands before that. So, today is one of those days I like to have the nice easy recipe that I can just throw in my crock pot and let it sit, and then when it's dinner time, it's all ready to go. So today we are going to make some crock pot lasagna soup. Let's get started. For this recipe, we are going to use one pound of ground beef, four cups of some type of a broth, one onion, three cloves of garlic, two cans of diced tomatoes, one teaspoon each of salt and pepper, one tablespoon Italian seasoning, eight ounces of ricotta cheese, eight lasagna noodles, one cup of Parmesan cheese, and one cup of mozzarella cheese. I like to cook my ground beef first and drain off the oil so I don't have all that extra oil in my recipes that I'm eating. You don't have to. You can just dump this right in your crock pot if you'd like to. But I'm going to cook this up first and then, like I said, drain off the oil and then we'll add that in our pot. When the meat is all cooked, we're going to drain off all that grease on there. So I am using a ceramic cup. If you want something that's not going to melt with the heat of the grease, and handy dandy strainer. And we're just going to get as much of that liquid off as we can. Obviously do that slowly so you don't lose any of your meat. And we'll go ahead and put the meat right into the crock pot. We are going to add some more of our ingredients then into our crock pot. I'm going to turn this on low. We have our diced tomatoes. Two cans of that. diced and stewed. I was wondering why some of the tomatoes were bigger. That's all right. Broth. You can use beef broth. I have chicken broth in the house. So that's what we're going to use today. Four cups. So this whole container. Teaspoon of pepper. Salt, a tablespoon of our Italian seasoning. I'm actually going to turn this on high. I want it done in four to five hours, so I want to cook it faster than slower. If you want it done within eight hours, you can leave it on low. So we're going to stir this up. We will cut up our onion and our garlic and put that in the pot and then we will let it cook for that four to five hours.
All right, we're already steaming up the lid here. We're going because we're on high. That's what it's looking like for now with the onion and garlic in there. And we're gonna let it go for three and a half to four hours. We're gonna add the noodles in there and let it go for another half an hour. All right, it's been almost four hours. So now we are going to add our eight lasagna noodles. And then we'll let it cook for another half an hour. So, count out. And then for the noodles, what you're going to do is break them up into kind of bite-sized pieces. So in reality, if you have a box of noodles that's kind of all broken up and stuff, this is, again, a perfect recipe for that. Alrighty, half an hour is up. Noodles look pretty well cooked. Okay. Cut it across the side there. Yep, it's cutting real easily. So time to eat. Let's put some in a bowl. And then we're going to top it with some of the ricotta cheese and the mozzarella and some extra parmesan. The crockpot lasagna soup is all finished. Perfect timing, it's 5 p.m., dinner time, yay. So it's nice to always have a simple dish like this that you can just put all together in the crockpot and let it go. And then hours later, it's all ready for you and it's time to eat. So I will leave this recipe down in the description below. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever had lasagna soup. I like regular lasagna and I've made like a crockpot version of a lasagna. So I imagine the soup's gonna be pretty good too. I'm going to enjoy my dinner. You guys, keep it positive. Go make it a great day. Bye-bye. Cheese is all melted really nicely. Oh, yeah. Woo! Mm. Smell the garlic and onion. I'll try some lasagna. Also, it's gonna be delicious. I think I have some on my chin. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Anyways, I like it. Thumbs up. <laughs> I don't have jewelry on. Ah.